I'm going to come back to you, but before I, I, I come back to you, let me let's take a look at um, uh, this weekend, Femi uh, games week two. Yeah, week two um, games. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, across uh, across with, the with one. There was one walkover. I mean, yes, it's too early for us to start having walkovers. Yeah, too, too, too early. You know, um, it was unfortunate that um, Royal Opas couldn't travel down to Lagos to face the Dan Warriors. And so what happens? They miss respected. one more game, automatic relegation. Do yes, they have that yes, rule as yeah. well? Yes, the rule is stated there. Mm. To, if you forfeit two games, you know, you're going to be thrown out of uh, the, the Premier League. And your, all your results are cancelled? Yeah, all your results are cancelled. Um, but, but other games this week too. Unfortunately, there'll be one game. To, there's one game too mm. that has been cancelled. Um, the Quarra Falcons, the Dan Warriors. So for the second week running, the Dan Warriors will be playing. Having walked over in a real pass last week. Um, the Falcons, you know, are not going to be playing. We know they they are still grieved, you know, by uh, after they lost, you know, one player, you know, last mm -hmm, week mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, a couple of mm -hmm. players accidents. So their match has been shifted to first of April. However, we'll be seeing other matches. Royal Pass, you know, will be hosting the Real Warriors. Um, the, the last time these guys met, um, it, it, it was shared in between mm -hmm. both. You know, last season they played four games and they both won the two games in their own court. But going to this one, the Real Warriors seem to be like and the, the team in, in with a better form because they've played one game and they won in style. They won with about 48 points, mm -hmm. beating Police Brighton. So they look like the, uh, the better side, but they are going away to Port Harcourt. So it might be a little tricky for them to win there. And Police Brighton will be taking on Lagos Island. And um, police batting, um, they, they, of course, they were the one that were dropped by 48 points. You know, so they'll be looking to bounce back. You know, against I'm sure that, a, that was a fluke. A, yeah, against them. It was an accident. An, an Islanders side. But however, if you look at their record against Islanders, it's not been too impressive. They, last year, when they met four times, they won just one and lost three. So um, I, I, they might not be able to to uh, ever swim over the Islanders, but we'll see how, how they will be able to do that. Customs, you know, the other game of the conference will mm. be taking on Union Bank. Union Bank, defending champions of the Atlantic Conference, they'll be playing their first game. They didn't play last week. They were supposed to play Kwa Falcons, playing Customs. Customs, they look like a rejuvenated side. I, I saw them in training today. And um, the, the Union Bank coach has been talking tough. He says, of course, if you want to take the crown mm. away from them, you have to really push them hard because mm. they are going you know, a step further this year. Of course, they were you know, at the Continental Championship, but they, they couldn't get to the final rounds. But they, they fell during the qualifiers. But they said this time around, they are going for the tournament. So they're going to be a, a team to watch out for. And they have a, so two fantastic foreign base players, you know, one from Togo, one from Cameroon. They'll, mm. they'll be a really an, they'll be a handful you know, in, the, in the season. Mm. In the Savannah Conference, you see Mark Mentors you know, taking on Gombe Bulls. Gombe Bulls, unfortunately, they have very um, tough fixtures. They played the defending champions mm. Cameron Pillars last week. You know, now they are playing Mark Mentors, the second best team in the conference because he came second last year from the Savannah Conference. So it's going to be tough for them, you know, traveling in both games. But um, I think it's good that they play these games, you know, early so they get to play, you know, the know what the, it, the, know the, what uh, the looks like. But, but Mark Mentors look like a team that is guns blazing. They have a new coach in coach, Peter Amedu, you know, who was formerly with the Dan Warriors, mm. and they have a, a two, you know, international players who, who, who represented Nigeria, mm. you know, at some mm. point. Um, Stanley Gumut, who played in the Afro Basket, as well as Yaya Abdo. So um, that mm. side looks like a side with a mission. And um, we also have okay. Niger Porters. Mm. Let, let, let's let's turn the condition. Let's wrap up the show now because I'm told our time is up. Uh, let, let, let me allow you to a, a last word. What are you going to tell young ones who are watching? Um, you started basketball, never knew you were going to become this big. What words of advice will you be giving the young ones in a minute to encourage them to, to continue to, to pursue their dreams? Oh, probably. I mean, to I mean to decide that to I mean to be a man is not a day job. Mm. What you have to just do, you just have to believe in yourself, 